with you, High Noon Leatherworks, for another leather adventure. And today, we're going to continue the hunting knife sheath. And we're actually going to put some scales on here, and I call them dragon scales. And uh, I don't believe I've done any of this on the channel before. Uh, I've made a pair of uh, leather cuffs with some dragon scales on them. Uh, these will be a little smaller since the sheath's a little smaller than a pair of cuffs, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do that today, and uh, then we'll move on from there. So come on in, and let's get started. All right, before I get started, um, I have some of you watched some of my past videos will notice that I have purchased a, a new style of mallet, and it's pretty nice. Um, I got it on Amazon. It was pretty inexpensive. I think it was around $15. But uh, it, it's got a wood handle, a nylon uh, head on it. Uh, it. Seems to be very balanced. Nice to handle. So uh, you may see me using my uh, plastic one from here and there, but uh, this is my new mallet that I'm going to be using. To make the scales, we're actually going to be using this uh, number 10. Uh, it's like for a strap, rounding the end of a strap. So it's a round cutoff tool. I don't know if you can see that, if it'll focus on that. But that's what they call a number 10. So we'll be using that to actually make the scales with. And I'm going to do uh, the front and the back both. And I'll probably go ahead and do, even though this is going to come over for the belt loop, I'll probably go ahead and do under here just so that it, it continues and that will make it look a lot better. So the uh, first thing we're going to do is let's case both pieces of leather here and again you don't have to soak it down we just want to get it damp so that we don't have to hit it real hard when we're making our impressions and it does make a much nicer impression uh, especially on these what I found out on these what I call dragon scales um, makes it look a lot nicer and gives it a lot more depth also gives it a more 3D effect if you case it first and all that's doing is kind of softening up that top layer of that leather a little bit so it takes a good impression so we'll moisten that up we'll let that sit for just a minute or two until it starts coming back to its natural color and then while that's doing that there's different ways you can do this um, you could do it symmetrical which is the way I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it straight across as they come down the sheath from the top to the bottom uh, then you could do it asymmetrical if you wanted to and kinda of give it a little bit of a uh, angle so you could start it out at an angle and just follow that as you go and that would give it a little flow to the back of the sheath um, I don't think you'd want to go horizontally because you know you're, you're going to wear your sheath vertically so it'd look better if the scales were going this direction instead of this direction so uh, I'm going to do it straight with the top and work my way down and what I'll do is I'll start out uh, and I'll show you after a few impressions what it's starting to look like as I go and then uh, once I get moving on it 
then I'll go ahead and I'll speed it up a little bit so you don't have to sit and and watch every single mallet strike so to start I'm gonna turn this around so I'm actually gonna do it backwards so the round part of my punch is facing the bottom of the sheath and I use the two points at the top to line up with the top of the sheath now I don't want to hit this super hard because if I do it's not just going to put an impression in there this this has got a sharp edge remember it's made for cutting small straps so if I hit that very hard it's going to go all the way through and cut my leather and I don't want to do that I just want to leave a very shallow impression and I'm going to tilt my tool toward the bottom and what that does is that puts a little bit deeper impression on the rounded edge and not up here on the two points so it kind of gives it more of a 3d effect so to start out I'm just gonna tap it and I'll go across and then I'll show you and maybe it'll it'll show the depth again um, I'm just putting impressions in there I don't want to cut the leather and if we, if we didn't case this first and soften that top layer up it would cut it even more so by softening that leather by casing it with water it's uh, allowing for that to take an uh, indention instead of cutting it so that gives you a good idea what that looks like now it doesn't look like much at this point but let's go ahead and do a couple more rows and as we go to our next row what we'll do is we'll take our tool and we'll go in between each rounded edge and you'll see what I mean as I do this um, and I'll start on the rounded edge of the first two move over and then what that does that allows me to do the two ends again I'm hitting it very softly and that shows you it's almost like laying bricks you know you lay two bricks and then you split the difference of the two I'm doing the same thing with this and that's what's going to give me my scale pattern so let me do a couple more real quick and then show you what they look like and then we can speed it up a little bit as you watch and this is going to change and the pattern is going to fluctuate a little bit toward the bottom because my knife sheath gets narrower as I get to the bottom now it's still going to be symmetrical to the top or straight with the top and you want to be real careful not to get your pointed edges of your punch or your cutter whatever you're using um, too far up as you go across or then you get into the scale above it so you don't want that because that'll leave a, a mark it's better if you had just a hair of space between those 
points of your punch and your neck scale. And you can see I'm just tapping on this. I'm not hitting it very hard at all. And let me show you what we have so far. And you can see how it's really starting to come together as far as looking like scales. So I'm going to go ahead and go through this front sheath. And I'll speed it up for you. So you don't have to sit through the normal speed and then we'll be back. So there's the front, the scales, and you can see it goes all the way to the bottom. And some people may think that might be messing up my uh, groove line for my stitching, but it's still very visible in there, no problem. But there's what the front looks like with all the scales on it. Again, I call these dragon scales, and you can see how they really give a 3D look to it. And it even enhances that when you put the, uh, the die on there. So I can set that one aside, pull out the back part, and then I'll start to do that. And we'll end up with the exact same thing on the back so the whole entire sheath will look like it's made out of dragon skin. Alright I'll go ahead and finish the back of that uh, off camera. There's no reason for you to to watch me sit there and smack that thing hundreds of times because it's gonna look just like the front does and on our next video I'll actually show you what the front and the back looks like so you'll be able to see it then if you come on back and watch the next video so turned out great uh, perfect size uh, scales for this project uh, I think the customers really gonna love it so thanks for coming along thanks for watching I appreciate it 
Uh, please, as I always say, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.